Radiation doesn't penetrate lead. Why don't we drop lead from helicopters? No, 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 not, not, not lead. You've got to be careful with this thing. Here's the reactor, yeah? And it's um, separated from these chambers below by a floor made of concrete and steel. Now, these chambers are now flooded with just hundreds and thousands of gallons of water. Lead blocks drop from that height to simply punch a hole in this floor. The fuel and the gases reach the water and you get a simply massive, uh, I mean massive, thermal explosion. What extinguishes this sort of thing? We've never had this sort of thing, so we don't really know. We know water won't put it out. Only possible one is sand. Might have an effect. Maybe add some boron to absorb the neutrons. And um, sand? Wood smothering? Might. Maybe add some dolomite? Uh, there's a risk to this, because... I mean, although the sand might smother the radiation, it, it could also act like a furnace, and you're just going to heat up the fire. So what? The radiation would be stopped. It would just burn through the floor towards the water. And then we'd be back with a thermal explosion again. What is your advice, gentlemen? Sand. Well, we're going to have to watch the temperature like a hawk. Helicopters. Hundreds of them. Notify the Air Force. Boris, what about the local population? What about Pripyat? First thing in the morning, evacuate. So, the people of Pripyat will end the day in the homes of strangers. Of course, so will the radioactive dust on their hair, their clothes, their bodies, on the wheels of their buses. <laughs> to limit panic and baggage, they're being told it's just for three days, but of course we know better. We don't know if dropping sand will smother the fire, but even if it does, we know that these people will never see their homes again. What they're not carrying with them will be lost forever. Frozen by radiation. Even their pets must stay and face a new life as wild animal animals with nothing to feed on but each other. My God. I estimate we'll need to drop about 5,000 tons. The riverbanks here are almost pure sand. Seems we have no other hope. So the gamble began. It would either save, or within days, annihilate us. At my asking, men were flying into a greater updraft of radiation than the Earth had ever known. And I knew that it might all be for nothing. I didn't share my doubts with the others, and they didn't ask.
Thousands of sand runs lay ahead. So too did the investigation into what or who had caused this catastrophe. How much is a lethal dose? 400? 400 rads, a bit less. What did you get? 650. And no mine. Less than that. No one's told me. I got one and a half thousand. Show off. The control room instruments are frozen. They began the test with only 18 control rods in the reactor. 18? Yeah. What the hell are they playing at? What the hell happened? I pressed the AZ. Should have closed it down, but instead of it, it was like a power surge. I hit the right button. They're insisting that the AZ button was pressed by the shift leader, Alex Akimov. But if that's the case, then all the rods should be down in the reactor, and they're not. None of the rods are in at all? Just the tips. Oh, shit. Ignalina. Do you think this lot knew about Ignalina? No, they couldn't have done. It's classified, we didn't tell them. The AZ button causes the control rods to drop into the reactor and shut it down. Now, the operators are saying they pressed it, but the explosion happened several seconds afterwards. They will say anything. We will have to conduct careful interviews. Well, it might make sense. See, the control rods are made of boron. Uh, made of boron, but they're tipped with graphite. Now, in 83 at Ignalina, on a, on a similar reactor, we found that in certain circumstances, when, when the graphite enters the water, it causes a power surge. Uh, a power surge. It doesn't immediately shut down the reactor. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying this is all that happened here. I mean, whatever those boys were doing in the control Is your sand working, Valerie? We don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. These reactors have been around for years, sir. Uh, years. If there's a problem... It exploded when you hit the AZ button. Why didn't it stop the reaction? You say there couldn't be a design for, but how else do you...